can start. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hello, hello, good evening, everybody. So, uh, my name is Yvette. I'm also Fulbright uh, postdoc uh, visiting scholar at Pratt Institute here in New York. Uh, I will be here till March. And I'm architect, I'm planner. Uh, so I will look on the city from, not from the philosophy point of view, but from the architecture point of view. But we have we found a lot of similarities. So how I perceive architecture, I think that would be the best to visualize and present you through this first project, Shared Awareness, that I did just directly after I graduated in Prague. But I'm originally from Brno. We were asked by one, in that time, businessman, you know, we are at the beginning of millennium, millennium with all these kind of sprawls and individual housing after inspiring of Dallas uh, series, you know, jump up. So we came to this kind of unfinished uh, building, uh, family house, and the client wanted to make from this beautiful contemporary villa. And we were discussing with him, the state, how is it built. Then we were discussing with him his future in that building where you have no public school, you have to drive your kid all the time. What will be the value maybe in 2020 of that structure? Does it, is it worth to invest to that building? Another 10 millions of check grants because that's what he wanted. He wanted very luxury villa on that side. This is actually near Brno in one of the satellite Veselka near Grand Prix, so you can hear also quite often <laughs> the, uh, the events happening at the Grand Prix motor, motor uh, race uh, tracks. So we then came together, and uh, that was real commission. That was my real commission. I was paid for this project. We came to that solution. So we left the space, kept we left the space for the future. And actually, 10 years after that, he was very satisfied. He didn't need to invest. He was just keeping his own kind of family house where he was staying in the Brno. And actually, he was, uh, he's very happy with that solution. So this is actually my attitude to architecture. So you can understand that you know it's very hard to be kind of architects perceiving as a service person, which actually usually architects we are service servicing our clients. So we decided uh, to with my partner to open a NGO and also a studio. And uh, you can see that Prague is maybe small city, much more smaller than New York, but it's also metropolitan. And through our activities. Last 20, year, 20 years, we reach kind of 20 different uh, interns because we do a lot of also project for public, as I said, and also culture projects. So we really need the help of different programs and European Union uh, possibilities. So you can see how many people from different countries just came to our office for three, four months, five, and go back. So we are actually also a bit like an ed education center. We have a center for Central European Architecture and MOBA Studio. That's what we do. We are uh, mainly focusing on today on uh, preparing public procurements for architecture competitions. We didn't work on the Šťastný Havák because I know this is very much in the media. So that was not a project we worked on. But we, for instance, came with the project like for the Expo in Osaka, and we have another 80 other projects from the last uh, 10 years for the Czech Republic uh, public uh, investment. And that's the way how we reclaim uh, our architecture and urban space. And uh, maybe also one important part of our initiative is to to work on direct transformation. This is actually also my, uh, my theme or my thesis, what I do here. Actually, my focus is uh, potential for tra of transportation infrastructure for livable city. So Magistrala is a project we do 10 years, and I was already, already so frustrated that I said, I have to come, I have to go for somewhere else to see. They are much more faster. I came to New York, and in New York, actually, they said we, it took us 20, 30 years, and it's still not done. So actually, you know, the whole transformation, I'm kind of happy now that we are, I'm not so much any more frustrated as I was because this project is taking 10 years. It's about uh, transforming and maybe we can call it as make this, the whole magistral more livable. This is the legacy from 70s. And this is the whole structure. We know, everybody knows, I think, who, is, who, are, who might be here, uh, where magistral is. And we did different uh, actions. This is Patrick Habel. Patrick Hubble, 10 years ago, 
uh, was uh, preparing uh, the site for our event. Oh, I'm not there in the end, but okay, sorry. <laughs> So this is, for instance, the open stage we did 2013. It's uh, just to show how the pro how the whole kind of space of the city can be transformed, and we will give more space to the public. This is 2022. How we work now together with AGP, it's a Swiss uh, architecture company. We work together on that kind of maybe perspective. I don't know. Maybe it will take another 30 years, but this is a project from today. This is also the project how we think about the space under the Magistrala. So these all kind of structures, they have a great potential. And uh, that's what I'm, where I'm spending a lot of time in Europe. This is a Brooklyn uh, Queens Express Highway. Uh, this is already transformed. This is the Riverside South Park. This is a, a Gotham Park under the Brooklyn Bridge. And uh, this is a uh, FDR highway and the space uh, next to Battery Park. And of course, that iconic High Line. This is my family. So as a very gender correct Czech uh, woman, I'm of course, when uh, Igor uh, uh, realized that I'm getting this Fulbright scholarship, he said, I cannot do it. So of course, he's in Prague and I'm here with the two kids here in New York. That's how it works. And this is something what I discovered now. Last week I was invited to the reviews uh, to LA. And this is a great potential. And I really, you know, maybe Aneta uh, uh, hated Miami, but I love Los Angeles because you can see how much, you know, we can transform and change. And this mainly all these kind of properties, actually public pro properties. So it's really great for the city. And uh, I would, with that, I would go back to our first speaker. Sorry, I will just finish. Uh, to Jana, uh, just uh, a little story about Batya, the, the great shoemaker uh, and uh, businessman who sent his uh, managers uh, to the worldwide and they like to, to research, you know, where we can do the business on the shoes, with the shoes. And they came from Balkan and they said, there is no, there, there is no business. Nobody is, uh, everybody is uh, uh, walking barefoot. There is no business. And no, that's a great potential. There we will go. So this is also, I think this will be my future position in LA, because you know they learn. Of course, they they are in, they are now in placing the metro station. So they know that the public transport is very important. You can see the people still don't know how to use it. So you can see. There are this uh, kind of uh, service uh, persons who are helping people how to walk inside the metro, how to buy the tickets. This is happening, really. And uh, so I had to make this photo. And of course, they also today, this is the metro K Metro line in Los Angeles. And they know actually how to use also the space under it already now, because they learn that it should not be very dirty and should be used. So, uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, this is uh, greetings from LA.